Hey guys, um, I don't even know where to start, but I'm almost at the finish line, y'all. I'm almost at the finish line. I just wanted to start off by saying that I am so tired, and I'm just really sorry about the quality. My camera is currently charging. I forgot to charge my batteries. Um. But I am, I am so tired. I want to talk about the ins and outs of just being a creator. And on top of being a creator, being a mom at that. Because that's a whole different, being like a parent or somebody, you know, taking care of somebody or, you know, it, all of that. You know, being a creator in general is difficult, but adding motherhood on top of that, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, I am currently hiding in this corner because my toddlers are toddlering and there's laundry everywhere. Uh, depression room is continuing to grow. Um, all of this two days before Christmas. It's awesome, but this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. And y'all just gonna join me on the journey of just another vlog. And I was going to put on makeup and do all of that. I don't even feel like it today. Today's gonna be a bonnet day. I'm irritated. I didn't sleep well. The kids haven't been sleeping well. Over it. But I'll be back when. Um, let's see, baby boy just scratched my face earlier in the week. Anyways, I'll be back when I have some semblance of sanity. Check back with y'all later. So y'all, I lied. <laughs> I did decide to put on a little bit of makeup. Can't really see it, but there we go. I just did my brows, my hair, edges, um, Vaseline, something like Vaseline. But uh, yeah, that's just, it's just amazing what um, a little thing can do for you. You know, spruced up my shirt, as you can see, rising strong girls, cause Lord knows that parenting is tough. Personal with y'all. Trying to do the best that I can here. Okay. Y'all. Parenting is so hard. Gentle. Whoop. Gentle parenting is even harder. Gentle parenting during the holidays is the hardest. Like, for most of you guys know, like I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I stay at home. I stay at home for three, since my oldest daughter was born, so going on four years, because she's gonna be four in, in January. So um, it's just been very, very difficult um, every holiday season, because you know, hubby, he works retail. And I used to work retail, so I understand the ins and outs of retail workers. And bless your heart if you're a retail worker, I'm, I'm praying for you. Because <laughs> um, I know it's very, very difficult. And, you know, every year we always say to each other, like, this is the last year, this is the last year. We're going on five years of, of this retail life. And, and I'm just over it. He's over it. Everybody's over it. And our kids are just really feeling the stress this year of it all. You know, there's so many things that has happened for us that we've been blessed with. This September made it a year that we lived in our new home. Um, we had, you know, baby boy, um, Jojo turning two, you know, my, old, my eldest turning three. 
um, corona, like they haven't really been outside um, experiencing the world as they should be, especially for their ages. Um, and and if I'm being 100% honest with y'all, depression has just been kicking my butt, y'all. Like, I, this is like a very, very honest video that I'm, that I'm sharing with you guys right now because I want future content creators, especially if you are a parent and especially if you are a mother, to understand that it's not always going to be such a um, structured video. Life happens. And um, one of the biggest things that I wanted to do for this Vlogmas was not only test the fact that I can be consistent, but just being um, very honest with y'all and just showing you guys not my whole entire life because that's just not me i'm not putting myself out there but um just uh what i want you guys to see and just being transparent about it but um the kids are just really really um they're feeling it and we're feeling it we're stressed out you know not seeing each other and it's not even just like you know we're going through things it's just more so not seeing each other for a long period of time because he works mid shifts, you know, and the girls especially, oh my gosh, they absolutely adore their father. And it's so so beautiful to see their relationship. So it's very difficult for to explain to a two year old and a three and a half year old um, why daddy has to go to work, why daddy has to go to work so many times during, you know, during the week um, and just all of that their minds can only handle so much and even on top of that stress is the wonderful gentle parenting that goes on and that's just a journey that he and i you know um decided to do way before we had kids and that's just so difficult to do um because of what we're used to growing up you know especially in the black community you know his family you know they're southerners born you know all in alabama the carolinas and my family you know they come from haiti so um we're we're same tree different branch kind of a thing um but very very similarities in how both of us were raised and there's things we just don't agree with and we want to um create a better environment for our children and boy when I tell you it's so hard it is so hard but it's not impossible and I feel like the biggest thing is to admit your mistakes not only to yourself but obviously to your children and um, just really treating new day treating every day as a new day and just give yourself grace you know how i see it you know is how um god treats us you know we are his children he gives us grace he disciplines us and he loves us despite it all and that's the same thing that we should do with our children is um give them grace give ourselves grace and you know start over and admit our mistakes and that's just i feel like a really big thing that the black community struggles with, especially with the older generation, you know, um, is they struggle with admitting when they're wrong <laughs> and taking that accountability, which I talked about in another video of mine, you know, but sp specifying to women, you know, but just in general, just taking accountability for your actions and working hard and being willing to, um, to do better and be better because you can say yeah i'm gonna try yep i'm gonna do this yes i'm gonna do that but if you're not putting in the work for it you're just talking you're just talking smack and your actions don't mean nothing your words don't mean nothing because you're not putting forth the effort to do that and for myself what i do what i and i will continue to do to kind of work through my own um traumas insecurities things like that is by going to therapy i'm such an avid avid supporter of therapy because I've seen how much it has helped me and how, how it has helped me grow and be a better mom and be a better wife and just human being in general. Um, it's definitely helped to figure out why I do certain things, the reasoning behind them and how I can fix that going forward if um, 
something does trigger me, it triggered that same response. So uh, therapy has definitely helped. I feel like I'm rambling, but um, this is just, this is just one of those days where uh, everything and nothing is going on in my mind. You know, I use YouTube as like a form of an escape from motherhood, from wifehood. This is just solely for me. Yes, I have my husband, you know, pop into videos and kids pop into videos, but uh, this is just you and I, kind of another form of therapy, uh, per se, you know, just kind of being open and honest with you guys. Uh, but um, I'm just, I'm just rambling, just kind of, like I said, just being transparent with y'all, you know. Another thing that came across my mind, too, today, was just, um, I saw this tweet that says, you know, uh, does anybody else feel that social media is gonna be like no more pretty much and I kind of agree with that you know um I feel now and especially during the rise of the pandemic that everybody wants to be um an influencer social media influencer content creator and not understanding what truly goes behind the scenes for that and then there's this article that came um a couple of days ago I want to say um about just the pay gap between um uh, BIPOC influencers and white influencers and how obviously people of color like they get paid way less than their white counterparts and uh, shocker <laughs> um, but it's just all of those things that people are wanting to do and starting their businesses and being entrepreneurs and and I feel like that is absolutely amazing but that is not a ministry for anybody. So I feel like for anybody who wants to do YouTube, you know, getting brand deals with, you know, and all those kinds of things, being an entrepreneur, starting your business, really sit down, pray, meditate, whatever it is that you do, really sit down and, and figure out if this is right, if this is right for you and how you're going to go about it and have smart goals because it is very hard y'all it is so hard somebody might think oh yeah well she stays at home she doesn't do anything mm. Mm -mm. this ain't the channel for that let me tell you that right now so being a stay-at-home mom is very difficult <laughs> and adding on content creation on top of that where it's literally just me and my videographer i i edit my photos i edit my own videos i do everything by myself so I'm definitely going to charge my worth, point blank period. And it's not always about following, it's about engagement, engagement with your community, the, the likes, the comments, all of that is way more important than the um, follower count that somebody may or may not have. Um, but to kind of circle back, I feel like social media is just getting diluted. Everybody, you know, just, people aren't being authentic and though we are not owed um the ins and outs of anybody's life i just feel that you know you don't have to fake it there's nothing wrong with being your true and honest self there's always somebody out there that's going to relate to you there's always somebody out there that you're going to inspire just by being your true self and it's really sad to see this generation just kind of spiral down that you know that rabbit hole of having to be perfect all the time and you really don't have to be uh, so that's just another encouragement tidbit you don't have to be perfect just be yourself um, yeah I don't know I don't know where this is this video is going there's probably a lot of parts that I'm not gonna edit this is just raw footage of just me picking up my camera and just rambling that was just on my heart and I am just sharing it with you all. As you can see, I'm extremely, extremely tired, but I just wanted a video of just raw footage of just showing y'all what goes behind the scenes of being a mother, a parent, a content creator, all of that. It's exhausting. <sighs> it's really exhausting. But mm, look at my ear, look at my edges, y'all. Anyways, um, I don't want this video to be too long 
the kiddos are wondering where I'm at. Mommy, yeah. I'm full. Did you eat all of it? No, but I'm the full. Okay. Just put it. Uh, make sure you put the the spoon in the sink. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll get you juice in a second. Okay. See what I mean? <laughs> it's always something, but uh, I've been blessed. Truly, truly, truly blessed. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video because I could just ramble on and on and on and on. And there's just a lot of things that um, I want to bring into the new year that God has placed on my heart that I don't want to share just yet. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is this is probably gonna be the end of the video. Sorry, this is so lackluster, but I. I really just wanted to be transparent with y'all today. Today life got me beat. <laughs> but tomorrow is a new day. So <sighs> I hope you guys are doing well. I hope um, you guys are done your holiday shopping. Because we're done. We're done our holiday shopping. And that you guys just keep on putting up the fight and get through this pandemic we'll get there but yeah i will see you guys in my next video <laughs>